This Partners in Cream update is extra special because I finally finished the full size bullet lipstick that I've been working on since the beginning of the year. Really quickly, I wanted to mention that this project, Pan Idea and Group, was created by Delin and Steph, and I'll have their information and more information about joining and information about the Project Pan in the description box. The whole premise of the Project Pan is you focus on your cream products with the idea that those tend to expire more quickly than powder products. I don't normally start with this product in particular in my updates, but I'm just too excited, too pumped to not talk about it. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Bullet Lipstick in the shade Live It Up. This is from their K-I-S-S I-N-G formula. So it's a little bit more satin, a little bit more moisturizing than their Matte Revolution formula. And I used it all the way until I couldn't apply it to my lips anymore. And then I dug out that product and I put it into a smaller container and then used that as a cream blush until it was completely gone. This is one of my favorite formulas and it's also a very expensive lipstick. So I do prefer using all of the product because once you get down to the bottom and you can't apply it anymore to your lips that way, there is still a ton of product left in the bullet and I just wanted to enjoy and use all of it. I do want to ask for some help though because I was under the impression that these ones were re refillable. Like I could buy another singular bullet of lipstick and put it in here. But when I used my tweezers to try to get it out, I just cracked the plastic on the inside and I think I may have ruined it <laughs> as a result. Or maybe this isn't the packaging that is replaceable. Hopefully I didn't ruin the packaging and I can reuse it if I want to. I am wearing another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick on my lips today and it's from one of their special edition collections where the packaging is a little bit different from their regular packaging. And it's in the shade Nude Romance and it's also from their K-I-S-S I-N-G formula. And I just really like this formula. I like the scent, I like the colors. I'm not gonna roll anything in to replace that because we do only have one more update and that is the finale, which will be on December 10th. I'm instead just going to focus on playing around with other liquid lipsticks in my collection and using them as cream blushes. I've been doing that with some of my Stila mini ones and I'm going through them pretty quickly, so that's kind of cool. I think that might be something that I do in my Partners in Cream project next year where I'll focus on one liquid lipstick maybe one of my oldest ones, using it as a cream blush a certain amount of times and then rolling it out. I do have one other product that has been in this project pan since the beginning of the year, and that's the Coco Kind My Light Highlighting Stick. And I have been using this in a slightly different way in the past couple of months. Most of the time, I still just use this as like a highlighting primer on the high points of my face before I put on foundation. And that's how I wore it today. But often I will also use this as a mixer for whatever cream blush concoction I'm creating for that day. I try to play around with other cream blushes and with other liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. Like I'm always kind of trying something a little bit different and I like to use this to mix it in to add a little bit more glow to the product. And I find that it doesn't change the color as much as using like a concealer or another face product to mix in with it does. As a result, I did use 0.7 grams of this last month. The month before I actually went through almost two grams of it, so I was using it in a lot more different ways back then. I also haven't been wearing as much makeup this month as I normally do, so that might just be another contributing factor, but I feel good about it. I'm making good progress. This is likely something I will also continue working on next year. I don't know if I will necessarily put it in a project pan just because I talked about this in every single update for this year's Partners in Cream project pan and there isn't really anything new for me to tell you about it. Like, you know how I use it, you know how much I use every month, it's not really going that fast for the photos to be super exciting. I just don't know if it's worth putting in another project pan considering I'll probably be working on it for another year. I will still work on this behind the scenes. Like I'll still reach for it, hopefully as regularly as I already do. But if I find that I'm not reaching for it because I don't have that accountability of having an update and having to report on my progress every month, then I might bring it back into a project pan. But for now, I think I'm just going to make it like a staple in my everyday makeup drawer. The next product I don't think I'm gonna have done by the end of the year, but I can definitely see myself getting really close and being able to finish it at the beginning of next year at least. And that's the Flower Color Corrector. And I hadn't been reaching for this too much for the past couple of months because I bought a bunch of other color correctors and I was comparing all of them and trying each of them out to get a really good feel of how I like each of the formulas. And I did recently put up a best and worst color corrector video where I compared eight different color correctors. Now that I've filmed that video and I'm not reviewing seven other color correctors 
in addition to trying to reach for this one, I can go back to using this more regularly. For example, I used 0.29 grams in the past month versus the month before that I used 0.22 grams. So I'm already using a slightly little bit more. You'll see that I have widened that pan that's at the very bottom of the jar. It's a little bit bigger than it was before and the sides are getting really thin. So I think the progress is gonna be a lot more interesting to see visually in my future updates. This is one where I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and I do like this product, but I now have seven other color correctors that I like for different reasons or maybe like a little bit better than this one. So I'm ready to let it go. I found some really great ones to replace it and I will focus on this one because it is my oldest color corrector. These next two products are both lip products, but they're very different and I reached for them for very different reasons. And so I don't feel like they necessarily compete with each other within the project pan even though I do tend to try to focus on one lip product at a time. And the first one is this lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. It's a mini in the shade Sugar Sugar. And in the past month, I went through 0.61 grams versus the month before that, I went through 0.29 grams. So I've gone through more than double the amount that I used in the previous month. And it's just because this is a really nice nourishing formula. So I keep this by my desk while I'm working. And anytime I feel like I wanna add a little bit more moisture to my lips, I will go for this. It has gotten to the point where I'm not able to get a lot of product on the applicator anymore, so I likely will take the stopper out pretty soon. And because of that, and knowing how much more uses I can get after taking out the stopper, I probably will have this done by my finale, or at least I'm hoping. And the reason I know how many times it'll take to use after I take the stopper out is because I did the same thing with another mini Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Pink Parade earlier this year in this project. And I think it took me like another 13 to 20 uses to finish it once I took the stop route. And it is something that I can apply like maybe once or twice a day if I do think to do that. So I think that this can be done by next month. And I actually feel the same way about Romance Kiss too. This is also a really beautiful nourishing formula, but it's a tinted lip balm and it has a really beautiful kind of orangey red color. And I also like to reach for this whenever I want to have a little bit more of a nourishing product on my lips, which I tend to do a lot more in the winter months, in the fall and winter months, when my skin and my lips are a little bit drier. But if I want something that has a little bit more color, or if this tends to go better with the rest of the makeup on my face, I reach for this one instead. And as a result, I've been reaching for this a ton, and I have gone through 0.38 grams, almost exactly the same amount that I used last month. It's not something that I'm necessarily eager to finish because this is an expensive lip product that I really love. So I'm not like racing to the finish line for this. And it's also relatively new. So I'm not too worried about it expiring before I get the chance to finish. But I do have another one of these. And so I'm not as precious with it. And I do reach for it as much as I want because I know I have another one in the shade already in my collection that I can reach for once this is gone. And you can tell in the photos, there really isn't a lot left in either of these. So I feel pretty confident that I can finish both of these before the finale, which is awesome. It takes me forever to go through lip products. Last thing I have to update is this Pacifica Rollerball in Enchanted Woods. And this is a really great scent for this time of year. I would not say it's my favorite and it's also incredibly strong. So I'm glad I only have the roller ball of it because going through an entire bottle would take me forever. And I really only apply a little bit of this to the back of my neck and like maybe on other pulse points that aren't super close to my face because this is very strong. In my last update, I was right around the letter A, the first letter A in Pacific on the bottle. And now I'm all the way at the very bottom. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem finishing this before the finale, which is super exciting. And I used up a little bit more than I did in my last update. I went through 3.28 grams versus last update, I went through 3.03 grams. And I imagine that this will be gone within a week's time. I don't go through a lot each time I use it, but if I do focus on it, I do definitely think it can be done. And that's exciting because like I said, it's not one of my absolute favorite perfumes I have. And I do have a couple of other perfumes that I like to wear during this time of year. So knowing I have this one out and then I can play with the other ones, is gonna be really fun. So really out of the five products that I have left, I feel really good about three of them. I think these three can be done before the finale. Thanks again to Dylan and Steph for creating the concept of this Partners in Cream project and for bringing all of us together. I've loved watching everybody else's updates and I love the 10th of every month because I can add like so many exciting updates to my watch later playlist. I am almost positive they'll do it again next year, but 
I really don't know. I'm hoping that they do because I would love to do it again. This is one of my longest standing project pans that I've take that I've participated in that's like part of a larger group just because the premise is so great it's so customizable I do have a project pan playlist on my youtube channel if you'd like to see more content like this from me I have been project panning for over five years now so there's a lot of content to look at if you're into that sort of thing but in the meantime that's everything I have thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video bye